watching WBZ4 News on Boston's television station. Good evening, I'm Joe Shortsley. And I'm Sarah Underwood. New at 5.30, they say they were abused at the hands of their priest. And tonight, they're asking lawmakers to pass a controversial law that could save other people from the same whore. WBC's Ron Sanders is live at the State House with late information. Ron? Sarah, alleged victims of sexual abuse by priests gave emotional testimony here within the past several hours favoring that bill that would require clergy members to notify police and the Department of Social Services about suspected child abuse. Doctors, teachers, and other professionals must abide by that law now, but clergy members have always been exempt from that law. I want to make damn sure that what was done to me is never done again to another innocent child. Alexa McPherson, who says a Dorchester priest molested her, begged the Joint Committee on Human Services to act favorably on the clergy reporting bill. She is joined by many alleged victims of former Boston priest John Gagan, who worked in different parishes 25 years. What he did to my family and me and other, God knows how many kids, could have been stopped. Gagan was defrocked by Cardinal Law. A spokesman for the Archdiocese says the church has no official position on the clergy reporting bill right now. The bill's author, attorney Mitchell Garabedian, who represents about 100 alleged victims of priests, says the bill does not single out priests. The bill is drafted in a manner not to violate the First Amendment of the United States Constitution with regard to freedom of religion and the establishment of religion. Victim and advocate Phil Saviano says the bill would not violate the sanctity of confession. When it comes to protecting a child, I should think that the priest could figure out some way to get help to that kid. There must be a way to do it without revealing the identity of the abuser. If only the adults who suspected something or heard my cries had been forced to speak the truth about what was going on. So many children like me could have been saved this terrible, life-altering experience. This is the second time this bill has been filed. It was first submitted in 1997. Cindy Yerrick, who you just saw, hopes this time it passes. Live at the State House, Ron Sanders, WBZ4 News. Joe? News right, Center 5. Abused as children by priests lined up at the State House today to demand that clergy be required by law to report suspected cases of sexual abuse. Clergy members currently are exempt from this law, which mandates doctors, teachers, social workers, and others report abuse cases to authorities. Here's New Center 5's Janet Wu. I want to make damn sure that what was done to me is never done again to another innocent child. Six they sat patiently for four hours waiting to tell legislators their stories. They, they are looking for prevention, not a cure. Other uh, professionals in the state are compelled by law to report what they know. And um, you expect that um, people in the uh, religious sector would have no more responsibility. They are alleged victims of priests John Gagan, James Porter, David Hawley. They want to end what they call a legal loophole. It exempts the clergy, priests, rabbis, ministers, and Christian science practitioners and their supervisors from a state mandate requiring professionals to report suspected child abuse to the Department of Social Services. There was his supervisors that knew about it um, back then, and nothing was done. He was just being moved around from parish to parish. Hopefully, these senators and these representatives will know, they will speak the truth and not not worry about the politics and the institution that's behind this and think about the kids who are the victims here who have no voice at all. The bill says, however, that privileged information, information obtained in a confessional, for example, should be exempt from the mandate. If it's a matter of confession, then they should have the right to conceal it. But there are lots of ways to find out that a priest is molesting kids, and it doesn't always, the news doesn't always come during confession. The executive director of the Massachusetts Catholic Conference declined comment on camera, saying only he is not opposed to the bill in principle. The bill has gotten lost in the legislative maze in the past. Both the House and Senate chair of the Human Services Committee, which heard today's testimony, aren't sure how they will vote on the issue. However, Senate Chair Susan Tucker called today's testimony compelling and persuasive, and she says the climate is changing in recognizing the problem. Now, Boston's 10 p.m. news leader. This is the 10 o'clock news on WB56. Authorities, they testified at the State House today in support of a measure cast by alleged victims of former Boston priest John Gagan. 
77 people claim they were abused by Gagan, and the church kept it a secret. We've heard over and over again in dioceses throughout the state, Boston, Fall River, Worcester, histories of priests that have been in service 20, 25 years, molested kids in parish after parish, moved to other communities, sometimes moved out of state, never reported to civil authorities. The law would not require, however, clerics to reveal conversations like abuse. want Massachusetts churches to be more responsible when it comes to reporting abuse. Over a dozen victims spoke at the State House on behalf of a Senate bill. Many of them are victims of John Gagan, a former priest who was accused of abusing nearly 77 people. Fox 25's Maya Shiyazaki has more. Former priest John Gagan is accused of years of molesting children in the Boston Archdiocese. The tragedy is on Father Gagan. The tragedy is on Father Gagan's family. The horrific crimes have been penetrating for 25 years in Boston. Victims say they repeatedly reported abuse to church leaders, but the church never got the police involved. Oh, had it been reported, this priest would not have done what he did to all these other innocent kids and children. In 1995, the diocese released Gagan from service, but many people say they are still dealing with the memories of their abuse. What happened to me pretty much stripped me of a lot. I, I don't have much else to say. What he did to my family and me and other, God knows how many kids, could have been stopped. And they want to stop it, with the law requiring religious organizations to report abuse cases to police. The Catholic Church thinks they're exempt from uh, certain rules and regulations. But the bill does not focus just on the Catholic Church, but any church that does not report abuse. The Archdiocese of Boston responded to the bill in a written statement saying, we're not opposed to reporting in principle, priests functioning as a school, teacher, or principals, or functioning as social workers already regarded as mandated reporters. But the church says it will not take a position on the bill, a move proponents claim allows molesters to remain in positions where they can strike again. I want to make damn sure that what was done to me is never done again to another innocent child. In Boston, Mai Shiyazaki, Fox 25 News. If the bill becomes law, clerics would not be required to reveal privileged conversations such as confessions. Psychologists, doctors and teachers must already report emotional or physical abuse.